here this is question 70 calculate inventory turnover ratio from the following information here there are informations are given and the starting point is for calculation of inventory turnover ratio from the following information opening inventory rupees 40000 purchases rupees 320000 closing inventory is rupees 120000 state giving region which of the following transactions would increase decrease or neither increase or nor decrease the inventory turnover ratio we have to give the region also a part sale of goods for 40000 cost rupees 32000 here inventory turnover ratio is equal to in the, for the basics cost of goods sold upon average inventory that is opening inventory plus closing inventory whole divided by 2 that is equal to opening inventory plus purchases minus closing inventory whole divided by opening inventory plus closing inventory whole divided by 2 that is equal to opening inventory is rupees 40000 plus purchases is rupees 320000 minus closing inventory is rupees 120000 whole divided by opening inventory 40000 plus closing inventory 120000 whole divided by 2 that is equal to rupees 240000 upon rupees 80000 that is equal to 3 times the basic in the basic structure we got it we got the inventory turnover ratio 3 times then a part working notes a part sale of goods of rupees 40000 cost cost rupees 32000 that is like this we will change the ratio as that will change the inventory turnover ratio as rupees 240000 is the cost of goods sold out of this if you are selling goods then cost rupees 32000 will go out and out of the total inventory rupees 32000 will also be going out due to sales whole divided by 2 that is 3.25 times it will increase the ratio in the a part it will increase the ratio as we have tested it in the b part the average inventory is reduced by half hence it will increase the ratio this ratio will increase as shown above as we have already shown it and uh, this ratio will change and this will be increasing because the previous ratio was 3 times now it is 3.25 times then B part B part is increase in the value of a closing inventory by rupees 40,000 40, increase in the value of a Closing inventory by rupees 40,000 will increase the cost of goods by 40,000 as given below. That is, rupees increase in the value of a closing inventory by 40,000. The value increased. Hence, this will increase the cost of goods sold by 40,000 and minus 40,000 because increase in the value of a closing inventory by 40,000 will increase the cost of goods sold plus and it will be the closing inventory will be deduct to find out cost of goods sold there will be no change the numerator but in the denominator it will be increased by half it is 2.4 times hence this will decrease the ratio this will decrease the ratio as shown above then C part goods purchased for 80,000 goods purchased for rupees 80,000 will increase the cost of goods sold by rupees 80,000 and reduce the closing stock for cost of goods sold by 80,000 but the average inventory in the denominator in the ratio will increase by rupees 40,000 that is rupees 80,000 by 2 because that is to be averaged that is rupees 40,000 this ratio will result in that is rupees 240000 is the cost of goods cost of revenue from operations plus 80000 minus 80000 whole divided by rupees 80000 plus rupees 40000 whole divided by 2 
that is equal to rupees two lakh forty thousand by upon rupees one lakh twenty thousand. That is two times. Hence, decrease in inventory turnover ratio. This will decrease the ratio. C part will decrease the ratio. Then D part. Purchases return rupees twenty thousand. Purchase return rupees twenty thousand will reduce cost of goods sold by rupees twenty thousand. And the closing inventory by twenty thousand in the numerator, and the average inventory in the denominator by rupees ten thousand, as shown below. That is rupees two lakh forty thousand plus twenty thousand minus twenty thousand. That is again rupees two lakh forty thousand whole divided by in the average inventory that will be rupees eighty thousand minus rupees ten thousand. That is rupees seventy thousand. That will be Three point four two times. That means this will increase the inventory turnover ratio because the original ratio is the th three times, and in the D part the ratio is three point four two times. Hence this increase the ratio. Then E part. Goods costing rupees ten thousand withdrawn for personal use will reduce rupees ten thousand from cost of goods sold. And closing inventory in the numerator, and reduce closing average inventory by rupees five thousand. So the result will be like this: that is rupees two lakh forty thousand minus rupees ten thousand and minus rupees ten thousand. That will be rupees two lakh forty thousand. And in the denominator, it will be rupees eighty thousand minus rupees five thousand. That is rupees seventy five thousand. That is equal to two point nine three times. 2.93 times means that will increase the ratio. 2.93 times it will it will decrease the ratio. Then if this is this will uh, this will decrease the inventory turnover ratio. Then a part. Goods costing twenty thousand distributed as free samples. Goods costing twenty thousand distributed as free samples will reduce twenty thousand from cost of goods sold and closing inventory in the numerator of the ratio, and reduce average inventory in the denominator by half, then by ten thousand as shown below. That is rupees two lakh forty thousand plus rupees twenty thousand minus rupees twenty thousand whole divided by rupees eighty thousand minus rupees ten thousand in the denominator. That is equal to Rupees two lakh forty thousand upon seventy thousand. That is three point four two times, which will increase the inventory turnover ratio.